Hello, I'm Little CEO from Cut It Out Comics and Cosplay, and this is Twitchy J. And he is my guest star for today's unboxing of the loot crate. Ah, ah. Um, and he is actually a Let's Player from his own channel. So I'm gonna add the link in the description below so that you guys can check out his channel because it's actually pretty great. He's a pretty funny guy. Aww. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> yeah. But uh, for today, we're going to be filming an unboxing of my and Twitchy J's very first loot crate. Yes. Uh, I know normally my channel is about my art stuff, you know, time lapses, tutorials, all that good stuff behind the scenes. But I also like to add some fun stuff, you know, it's the holidays, you know, have some fun, dude. So today, since it's the very first loot crate, why not share it with you guys? Am I wrong or am I right? So I got my handy dandy switchblade, no I'm just kidding, my uh, cool. box cutter, <laughs> and we'll give this a go. Alright, luckily it's easy enough, just a little swipe. All right, and now for the unboxing. Okay. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, my initial my initial reaction is that I love the inside of the box. <laughs> like that's so stupid, but like I really actually like the design there. It's really cool. But uh, let's see. Okay. So first things first. Um, I don't know a lot about Loot Crate, obviously we've never had it before, but I do know that no Loot Crate is good without a Pop Vinyl! Pop Vinyl! Yes! And it looks like uh, somebody named Angular from Assassin's Creed. Feel free to correct me on that pronunciation in the comments. <laughs> but um, I've only ever played the first Assassin's Creed. I didn't get too far into the franchise because, no offense, but it kind of... After, yeah, it kind of out. so I didn't really want to get too into it. I believe this guy is from the movie. The movie. The Assassin's Creed movie. And that comes out what yeah. this month, right? Pop movies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's the first one, and it looks like there's some other ones in the series. Maria o Ojeda, nailed it, and Callum Lynch. So if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, so first item, pop vinyl. Love pop vinyls. We have a collection ourselves. I have all the Ghostbusters over there. But yeah. Anyway. Including a giant marshmallow man. Yeah, this, it's actually the toasted Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. So get it right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so our next item uh, is a t-shirt. And it looks like it's got a symbol on it. And the tag tells me it's from Mr. Robot, which is a show that we've been meaning to watch, but yeah. we don't have cable anymore. We only have Hulu and Netflix, so yes. we're always kind of behind. But here we go, t-shirt. Looks pretty cool, but um, obviously not my size. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, since I did the purchasing, I selected the size um, that would fit me. So. so basically he gets to keep all the t-shirts. And I get all the goodies inside. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. And it's actually pretty soft, like yeah. quality wise. It's really soft. Yeah, it feels Definitely not cheap t shirt fabric, fabric like some of the websites. Do. Yeah. So that's pretty good. But probably because, I mean, it has the Mr. Robot logo on the inside, so it's probably like legit merchandise. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Ding, ding, ding. Number Item number two is a win. All right, so uh, third item so far. Okay, so we have a Firefly patch. Yes, is this this is for me. This is for me because <laughs> I love that show. Yes. Okay, Firefly Independence patch. Let's see. This patch was created using the original artwork files from the TV series, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. The graphic. There was. I'm sorry. Dylan Hay Chapman was the graphic designer. Um, so this is a certified as accurate, both in design and orientation of the patch. That's pretty legit. So there's that for you guys. I love patches. I have such a soft spot for patches. I want like a nice, yeah. I want like a nice pair of skinny jeans and just cover them in like Ghostbusters patches and like N7s and, and this, this, this is nice. Yeah. So. I have like a stack of patches that I have nothing to Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, man. But that's the next one, so. Let's see, okay, so the next item we have here is apparently something called hashtag loot pin. Um, and it is from Assassin's Creed. 
Um, every loot crate comes with a, uh, a pin, a collectible pin. Um, oh wow, I didn't, I didn't know that. That kind of makes me regret not getting loot crate sooner. Yeah, I bet. I like pins and I like collecting things. So. Well, that makes you a sucker then, doesn't it, for picking the t-shirt, because this yeah. is mine, dude. Nah. Yeah, I'm nah. going to buy a nice leather jacket or like a motorcycle vest and just cover it with all 12 of these patches, or I'm, so, I'm sorry, all 12 of these pins that we're going to be getting in the future. So that way everybody in the freaking world that encounters me knows how big of a nerd I am. Sorry. No. Should have picked the <laughs> shirt. You shouldn't have picked the shirt, dude. All right, let's see. So the next item we have here... It's literally the size of the loot box or loot crate. Okay. <laughs> but um, it looks like an art book. It's called Figure Fantasy. It is the pop culture photography of Daniel Picard. There you go. So it looks really nice, honestly. Like the cover is just rich color. But anyway, this seems right up your alley. This guy loves freaking art books. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm an artist too, but like he literally collects them. Yep. What a, we have like Mass Effect, Gears of War, um, uh, Brian Broad, um, uh, Viking, I think. Oh yeah, that was a weird one. Well, not weird, but cool. It's interesting. Yeah, the the art book was interesting. Yeah. The game was kind of downer. Uh, but anyways, let's see. So I think I kind of recognize some of these. I've seen, I think I've seen some of these being shared around on like Facebook when it's like a thing, you know, like yeah. everybody grabs onto something, but yeah, this is, I mean, that's pretty cool. There we go. That one's, I've definitely seen on Facebook, Batman kicking down the door there, but. It appears what he does is takes uh, figures or miniatures or whatever, photographs them and then superimposes them onto real backgrounds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here we go. This is him. He's holding the two figures standing beside him in the photograph. That's so cool. I love pop culture pictures. This is amazing. <laughs> I've, I've always loved, especially because those statuettes and, and action figures and stuff like that are getting so hyper realistic nowadays. Yeah. It's like you can take those pictures and it looks really legit. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen the ones where they do like little Legos, which I think is just adorable. Yeah. <laughs> but like my favorite, I think everybody's seen this on Facebook because it'll circle during the holidays, is, is the stormtroopers. Oh, yeah. Building, like they're setting up the Christmas tree. Yeah. And they're just like kind of scattered around the room, like trying to set it up like a building. That's always been one of my favorites. And I think. That's a really amazing sort of art that doesn't get enough attention. Yeah. But this is a beautiful book. I mean, he, I mean, he executes it perfectly. Yeah. Definitely a pro right here. But anyway, this is definitely perfect <laughs> for our coffee <laughs> table, which is convenient because we're at the coffee table. Yep. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so it looks like the last thing inside of the crate is the Loot Crate magazine, which I assume, I mean, I don't know too much about Loot Crate, but I assume has to be in everyone. Yeah. In everyone. So it looks like here, obviously, the theme for this month, December 2016, was the revolution. So obviously, Star Wars was a revolution, and, and all of those, actually, yeah, basically all, all of them. them. So here we have some of the articles of behind the scenes of the USA's colony. Fair. Can you beat Mr. Robot hacking? I'm sorry. Can you beat the Mr. Robot hacking challenge? Find out inside. History of Fireflies. Gentif I'm sorry. History of Fireflies Unification War. That is awesome. I would pay money. I would pay big bucks if they made like a TV show or a series like on Hulu or something where they could get dark and gritty about the unification war. I, ugh. That's like, you know what my thing was like Mass Effect, like the morning, morning star. Oh yeah, um, the, like, the morning war. Morning war, whatever. Like I, I like I would pay money to see that sort of thing. Or the first, the contact war. Yeah. That, that, would, be, that would make an awesome TV show. But it looks like it's just filled with articles that are rele relevant. But look at this! On the first page, ah! So you can apparently, it gives you directions, but you can, Fold this into like some sort of like out like a box scene and then put that guy on top of it. How cool is that? Yes, that's exactly what I want because I wanted I was actually thinking about keeping the box, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
But yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff about all the stuff that was in the box. Let's see. But there is some information here about basically everything we've already missed, so they're kind of like rubbing it in our yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently one of these loot crate boxes you could have folded into a proton pack. So I'm like really mad that I missed that. I love the freaking Ghostbusters and I'm dying for a proton pack. Yeah. Really need it for my Egon, Egon Spangler costume, but whatevies. But let's see. And I hate to break it to you. Yeah. But this time we did not win a mugger crate. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so devastated. Yeah, apparently we didn't win the mega crate. Apparently it looks like one lucky person a month gets the the mega crate, mm -hmm. and the mega crate is a two thousand dollar value. Uh, you could have gotten fully customizable sun sandboxer 3D printed game character exclusive hero size collectibles. Uh, you could have gotten the Sony 64.5 inch Ultra HD Smart LED TV. Ooh. Are you kidding? How does that even fit in your loot crate? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you also could have gotten the Xbox One with 500 gigabytes, so that's cool. And the Assassin's Creed Unity bundle, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's see, and then you could have gotten Mr. Robot Seasons 1 and 2. God, I would have really liked to have that. Yeah. Um, on Blu-ray. And you could have gotten the Quantum Mechanics Serenity Cutaway Replica Toy Figure. Ooh, ooh, I would have liked to have that. That would go right, real nice. We have a collection of little spaceships. Yeah. We have the Normandy, the SR2, and we actually have the Futurama ship now too. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and we have the, uh, the Enterprise. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I totally forgot. We have the Enterprise, and then we have something from Star Wars too. It's one of like the Screamers. Like, yeah! You know, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying about? But uh, anyways, apparently 15 lucky winners would have also gotten something called the Mini Mega Crate. And then in that you would have gotten the Firefly Serenity Plush, which is pretty cool. I've actually seen that at the comic book store. Um, it's like about this big and I've seen a lot of people hang it. They were hanging it in the comic book store, which I thought was really cool. But and the other thing that you could have gotten with the Mini Mega Crate was the Mr. Robot Rubber Flubber Mask. Whoa. I don't really like those <laughs> things, but like that's pretty cool. It's like the new, I, guess, I assume the new Guy Fox mask. So it's kind of disappointing, but maybe one day, maybe, maybe one, one day. day we have, you know, 11 more chances. And let me tell you what, if we do get any of the mega or the mini, it's going to be right on this channel. So yes, it is. Keep an eye out. You know what I'm saying? Um, next month's, uh, theme. Ooh, 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 before you tell me. Okay. Oh. We got to build it up. Got to build it up. All right. Drum roll, please. Go. <laughs> Origins. Origins. Okay. That's pretty interesting. That touches on a lot of things. But I guess what's the what's the idea there that um, like you know beginnings the beginnings okay yeah. interesting I bet yeah. Star Wars I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put money down now that Star Wars is in there somewhere I mean everything has an origin that's true so it, it could literally literally, literally. be anything well, we'll but see. um we have as she uh, she mentioned we have eleven more boxes to go um so. Next month is Origins, and we will definitely be unboxing it and putting it on her channel. Whoop! Yeah, I think, I mean, you know, I know this channel is supposed to be about my art and, and you know, all that stuff, but I, I also want to have fun. You know, it's, it's yeah. called Cut It Out Comics and Cosplay, so we're big nerds, especially me. Uh, so, you know, I want to share that kind of part of my personality with you guys. I think, especially with the Loot Crate, because I... A lot of our friends were making fun of us. They were giving us a hard time for like months, at least for years, yeah. like two years before we got this because they were like, they were like scandalized. They were like, you don't have a loot crate? What is wrong with you? And I was just like, you know, it's, it's, it's all about the money. And it's like, is it worth it to put that money in every single month? Yeah. So hopefully, you know, you guys can watch this video. You can watch all of these videos that we're going to make and decide for yourself whether or not it's worth it to, to invest. I mean, honestly, yeah. it's, it's a big investment, so. I mean, but what do you think? In my opinion, it is worth it. Um, because it comes out to like, what, 11 bucks a box? Yeah. Something like that. And, I mean, we've got a nice t-shirt. This book for sure. Vinyl. This book, I mean, not even at the pop vinyl. Yeah. Uh, you can buy pop vinyls at your local comic book store, like Soundwave. Yeah. Uh, for $10. Yep. So, I mean, that alone is worth it. And this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Oh, I didn't even know that. So... That's it's, the only way you can get it? That's dang, dude. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, so I think it's worth it. Yeah, 
10 for 10 recommend? 10 for 10 would, would recommend. I'm gonna say 10 for 10 would recommend. I totally agree. Um, you know, and it's it's not only that, that it's obviously worth the value, but it feels like a present. Does that make yeah. sense? Like, it's like, even though I pay for it and it's like mine, when I when we got it in the mail, it was like somebody sent us a care package. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. A care package where it's just like somebody was like, all right, hey, you're a nerd. Here's a bunch of nerd crap I'm sure you're gonna like. You know, so I think that's a really cool aspect yeah. of it too. Um, and honestly, I think it, it's a really good way to introduce like, like Mr. Robot. I had totally forgotten about Mr. Robot and I need to get back on that. So it's like, you know, if maybe if you don't know about it, now you'll think about it. And, you know, so it'll introduce yeah. you to new things that you'll probably like because you're a nerd too. So, and you know, and if really you don't really like it, like I really don't really like Assassin's Creed, you can just give that to somebody. Now I can give that to someone. So boom, free present for somebody in my life. Like like my, my one of my best friends gave me the Mass Effect socks that came in one mm. of the loot crate boxes and like the notebook. You know, and it was like, just as a present. Cause he didn't really want it, and, but he knew I really liked Mass Effect. So it's, yeah. it's got like three different purposes, I feel like. Yeah. So 10 for 10. Would, would recommend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Wherever they are. I don't really care. You can tell me in the comments, but I'm just going to keep <laughs> doing a little, doing a little dance. <laughs> but yeah, please, uh, you know, so you can, you'll get a notification when we make the next video and you'll get a notification every time I make tutorials and time lapses, which are really cool too. So, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys get a little bit of information. At least, at least it wasn't a waste of your time. But <laughs> I guess we'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Please enjoy your holidays. It's like, I know it's like such a dark year. It was like such a crappy year. Such a terrible such year. Such a terrible, <laughs> just terrible year. But please remember, you know, just let it push it to the side for a minute and enjoy time with your friends and family. Yep. And, and enjoy giving those presents back and forth. If, I don't care what you celebrate, just celebrate and, and, and kick off the year with a good start. Yep. But we'll see you next time. Thank you so see much ya. for watching. Bye. Bye.